Hello, hello. Um, come back for, this is another bit of an art lesson actually. <laughs> so uh, I've gone back to my BTEC teaching days and I'm going to be doing a little bit of work really for that. The idea of this was I was going to work on top of some of my jelly prints that I'm not 100% happy with because I thought I'd um, do that. But be before I do that, I thought we'd do it on some scrap paper. Now, I'm going to take you back to your childhood again today, but I'm also going to give you a little bit of a of a background. Now, we are going to start at looking at a technique called frottage, and it's a French word which means rubbings. And we all did that as kids, didn't we, with our pencils and crayons on the ground and on wood and whatever. Um, but the technique was a drawing technique that was... Um, started by Max Ernst in 1925, okay, and he also then created Grattage um, in about 1927-ish, um, and that was a slightly different technique where he used paint, and what he did was he would cover his canvas with several layers of paint, he would use things like grates underneath the canvas and he would use a spatula or um, a knife or something to scrape the paint off um, the, the, the item that was underneath. Um, which is very similar to when, again, when you were kids, if you used to colour wax crayons over and over again and then put a layer of black over the top and then scrape out. It's a similar kind of idea to that. So... Um, if you are interested, go online and have a look at the work of Max Ernst. He was great on collaging too. Big, big collage artist. So we're going to have a go at a bit of bit of a mix, really. Bit of frotta, uh, frottage, bit of grattage, um, maybe a bit of printing. And we're going to use this paper first of all. Um, and I'll show you some of the things that work great. I haven't got my calendar anymore because it broke the handle fell off but I've got um, a grate which is actually I got this from a DIY store quite a long time ago to dry paper on and it's a uh, um, the back of a, a fireplace actually it's the piece of that would go behind a fire um, we all have one of these most of us do we've got my uh, scoreboard I have um, these came out of my um, art storage box, but um, I had to take them out because I didn't have enough room in there. Um, so this has got some texture on it, so we're going to try that. Um, I've got my piece of plastic, which is for sewing tapestry things onto. Um, I've got this piece of plastic, which was, um, I used this the other day. This was, I think it had my some pastels in. Pastels work great for this. It's an absolutely fantastic technique for um, pastels. This is my draw tidy that I've just emptied from my ink and my brushes because that's got a great texture to it. And I'm not sure if we can find anything else along the way. Obviously, wood works fantastic with this technique. Anything with a texture works brilliantly. Um, I do have... Um, I tried to straighten this out. This was the springs from a binder. Excuse me. Sorry, um, this this was uh, the springs from a um, a, 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 a scrap uh, no uh, sketchbook, um, and I've tried to flatten them out. I'm not wasn't very successful, so I'm not sure if that will work or not. Okay, just bear with me. <coughs> Sorry. Okay, I've got my jelly plate. Um, and I've got a roller. I've also got pine cone, which I'm going to try and do something with. Um, yeah, so lots and lots of stuff and lots and lots of mess. So I'm just going to tear up. A, oh, actually, I'll cut them. Right. I'm going to keep this piece aside for my roller okay let's get organized oh i also have this packaging paper which i want to cover in paint too i've got all my paints beside me i'm just 
of that. Okay, let's let's get started. And I think I'm going to start off with this. Okay, I'm going to try and keep this away from my jelly plate. But what I do want to do is actually try and just touch my jelly plate with that and get some texture in the paint as well to do a, a, a pull um, from the jelly plate. Okay, so first of all, um, I'm going to pick... Uh, my first colour um, and actually I think I'm going to do this one first so I'm going to put down the paper goes onto the texture like so and let's go for what can we what can we use let's go for um, this is called Thicket Okay, give that a good shake onto my jelly plate, roll this out, I'm not particularly worried about getting the plate nice and covered but it will make a nice lift um, when we're done, nice pull, okay so here goes. And you'll also get that line. Oh, <laughs> you'll also get that line on your roller. Okay, so. That's what we have so far. Very cool, very cool, I think, anyway. Right, now what I'm gonna do is, I've got this piece of paper here actually, I'm just gonna lift that. That paint, and that's from some of the jelly prints I did yesterday. I might be doing some jelly printing in between. Um, once I get into this, I'm going to speed it up and just put music on because you're really not going to want to watch me do a thousand of these. Okay, so um, now I'm going to pick another colour and I'm going to I'm going to go for um, a paper artsy paint. Now these, um, you have to work really quickly with these. I watched a, a, a Seth Apter um video and hence had to buy the Seth Apt paints <laughs> um, but he, he he was absolutely right when he said you had to do this fairly quickly um, because it does dry on the paint quite quite quick but what is great is when you've got stuff left on and you pull it at the end because that is absolutely marvellous okay let's go for another this does really take me back to my my college teaching days <laughs> okay oops got a bit of got a bit of um paint on my okay i'm gonna leave that one as a that but while i have this blue i'm gonna come back to this one which is already pretty dry and let's just move that temporarily and i've got my underneath how awesome is that okay so now we have that and I'm going to put that one aside okay um, I think I'm going to do some of this and I'm going to do it on top of this one that we just lifted might need a tiny bit more paint here but this is where we can start building up pattern on our jelly plate too I don't want too much paint on here okay and that's really interesting quite like that okay now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna 
put that into the paint and let's try it out on here now we might not get a great print because I've got the texture underneath but we've got a little bit of paint on there actually that's very very interesting can you just see this little bit here so um, wasn't too keen on this from yesterday might already be too dry nope that's pretty cool and I love it now that's perfect very happy with that so that's a that's a that's a go that one's a go okay so I'm gonna come back um, to this one put this here um, I haven't been rolling off my brush my brayer but it's fine <laughs> it's all right um, I'm gonna go for I've got a gray just bought a gray if I can find it here we go um, slate gray I'm gonna try this one give it a good shake like I said um, we'll do a few together uh, just from each each thing and then I'm gonna um, start to uh, speed up the videos that's actually not showing up a great deal with the grey but that's okay because we need a kind of background so if you can see you've got some texture there but it's a little bit more difficult to see so I'm going to put that aside I'm going to grab this one just move that out of the way I'm going to dunk this in my grey And I'm gonna print with this and I love that's awesome and there we go we've got a nice print there and I'm just gonna um, just find another jelly print that I wasn't happy with yesterday we're gonna just go in on that too and I'm gonna hold a little bit up so I'm gonna try and spread that out a little bit that's made that more interesting that's a bit better okay now I'm gonna grab yet another jelly print that I wasn't happy with and I'm just gonna whack that on my plate so we're doing several techniques <laughs> at once here that still needs some work I still don't like that one <laughs> still don't like that one very much but let's see if we can get a bit of that is just such an interesting piece now just much more interesting Um, actually, I'm going to keep this one out and I'm going to grab that because that's got a smaller, smaller print on there. And I'm just going to see how that works. It's quite cool. Um, Okay, so um, this one needs a little bit of work. I'm gonna have a little go at this one. Um, trying to decide, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move that for a moment and bring back in my <clears throat> scoreboard.
still rather meh. Um, okay, now, let's go um, for paprika. Get some orange going.
It was actually easier to do some printing with the paper uh, rather than try to do the frottage or the grattage with it. Um, I hope you have found this a little bit useful. Um, so I'm just going to quickly show you some of the things we've got. I mean, some of them are far from finished, but they're great for um, backgrounds and collages and things like that. That I was really happy with. I do love that print and I think in the black that would be marvellous. The brick wall looks great. This, I uh, love it. I just loved how that turned out. This one, I'm, I'm really happy with, even though I didn't like the printing quite so much. That one needs a bit of work. That's a little scrap. That still needs something, and so does that. But we also finished off a couple of the, um, that one as well. Also kind of did a few bits to some of the jelly prints that I wasn't particularly happy with. A little bit of printing on there. I did that one. Um, that one I still don't like that at all. But we've got room to work over it. I don't really know that I did anything to that. Um, or oh, maybe some gold lines there. Um, we got the blue onto that. So that was slightly improved. That's much improved. This one I love. So um, we've got we've got quite a lot of stuff. The next video is going to be me putting actually putting some pages together because I really need to get that on the go. Um, I'm going to do some stuff on the backs of these to make sure they've got something on the back. It probably possibly will just be something very simple rather than have every page quite decorated. Even though these are backgrounds, they're just to work onto. Um, thank you for watching. Have a marvellous weekend and stay safe. I will see you all um, very soon for the next step. See you soon. Thanks. Bye.